describes another attribute <coughs> with the words Lokanat Lokera Jivana. Srila Thakura Mahasaya's initiating guru is Sripad Lokanath Goswami, Sriman Mahaprabhu's dear associate. By mentioning Sri Gurudev's holy name, he, the, the blessed author, declares his gratitude to Sri Guru's lotus feet for all the spiritual treasures he has attained by Sri Gurudev's mercy, which he mentioned in the previous Tripadis. He also mentions in a hidden manner that what he has attained by the grace of the Guru cannot be repaid. Although he is the servant of the Guru birth after birth, executing his order and serving him with body and mind. That Lokanath Prabhu is Lokira Jivana which means that he has shown the paramount example of the path of bhajan and thus engaged the people of the world on that path of bhajan. The blessed author declares this because being on the path of devotion is life and not being on it is death. Another meaning of Lokanath, Lokira Jivara is that Sri Gurudev is the Lord of the whole world and the life of the whole world. In this respect, he reveals two more confidential attributes of Sri Gurudev. This is said in regard to the Samashti Guru. In the form of the Samashti Guru, the Lord is eternally present in His eternal abode. The Samashti Guru is the direct incarnation of the Lord. In order to free the conditioned souls that are grasped by falsehood and ignorance, constantly scorching in the fire of the three material pangs, bound by the shackles of sensual attachments, the Lord who is filled with boundless and causeless mercy assumes the form of the Samashti Guru so that they can attain the Lord's lotus feet. From this most merciful Samashti Guru, the Guru Shakti appears in the great souls in this world who are devotees absorbed in bhajan, entering into each one of them individually as the Vyashti Guru. Srimad Jiva Goswami Pada has written in the Bhakti Sandharva, this Samashti Guru is manifest in all the Vyashti gurus in this world to rescue the people of the world from the grip of maya and give them devotion to the Lord. Thus they remain Lokanath Lokera Jivana. 
We cannot, we cannot pay back Guru for mercy. If the mic, other mic. We cannot pay. Where the mic? Give mic there. We cannot pay back Guru for mercy, not because we don't have enough money, but because Guru does not own it. Just like we receive mercy from Guru, Guru receives mercy from Param Guru, Radharani, and others. It belongs to no one, it flows through everyone. The idea of paying back is material. Debt and payment and owning Amazon, as Gurudev says. This is a material world. Mercy is everyone, it belongs to everyone who opens the heart to it. What is the difference between Samasti Guru and I don't understand. Yes. Difference between Samasti Guru and the Dasti Guru. If someone can explain, otherwise I can just get for the text. But if you like to <coughs> Samasti Guru is like a love who come from Srimati Radharani. And similarly, so all Guru, all Guru Shakti come from this Samasti Guru. And it is said uh, this comes from Krishna's right side. This is my understanding is this Samasti Guru is <coughs> Nitai and and Barana. And then so sometimes guru, guru appear personal feature. Like our Guru Parampara, each guru is Vyashti Guru. Except the Nita <laughs> or Janaka. Because, so, like, uh, this Samasti Guru gives some power to each person, uh, someone who is uh, empowered by Vashti Guru. Why? Because his mission is to save foreign conditioned souls. So in this world, many, it seems many Guru Dev, many Sampradaya or many Guru Dev, but the original one is this Samasti Guru. And each Guru, each bona fide Guru is just a Guru. That is my understanding. If somebody could have this, please. What was the second one? Hmm? What was the other one? Yashti. 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 What is Yashti Guru? Yashti Guru means, I don't know exact Sanskrit one. <coughs> like, a, like, a, appear in this material world. Like a Guru Dev. Ah. You know, like a Radha Gomitas Bhavati Maharaj. Mm -hmm. So, it, like a Pabupada. Uh -huh. <coughs> so, someone come. So, so therefore, Radha Gomitas Bhaj Maharaj you say Pabupada is Nitai, Nitai Shakti or Nitai himself sometimes. Expansion. Expansion. So that means Pabupada is empowered by Nitai, Nichana. That means this is Vyastiguru. Vyastiguru. But the original one, Nityananda? Like, yeah, Nityananda or, or Barana. 
Like I say, every love comes from Radharani. So, where the source of love is Radharani? So, similarly, the source of Guru Dev or Guru Shakti is like uh, uh, this Vyasti Guru. Okay. That's, that's my understanding. If Guru Dev, if some mistake correct. <laughs> While having such a great vision of the glories of the Guru, Srila Thakura Mahasaya most, most anxiously prays to Sri Guru. Kaha Prabhu Koro Doya Deho Mare Parachaya Eve Dasha Gushu Kirivana. With paramount humility, Srila Thakura Mahasaya considers himself a conditioned soul and thinks, just see the unlimited compassion of the Lord in the form of the Guru. But alas, there is no limit to the misfortune of a Maya-bound soul like me. Will he therefore shower me with his mercy? Thinking like this, he utters the words ha-ha that indicate anxiety. <coughs> While at the same time he thinks Sri Guru is most capable in saving the fallen souls. <coughs> that is his mere play. Therefore, although I am wholly unqualified, by his competence everything is possible. Hence, he uses the word Prabhu, the Almighty One. Ha ha Prabhu, please give me shelter in the shade of your feet. He prays for shelter in the cool shade of the wish-yielding tree of Sri Guru's lotus feet. so that he will no longer be scorched by the threefold material misery. Great humility awakens within him as he says, Aha Prabhu! <coughs> if you grant an unworthy fellow like me, shelter in the shade of your lotus feet that are like wish yielding trees your fame of redeemer of the fallen will, will be announced throughout the three worlds ebe yasha gushu tribhuvana Yasha means fame. Yasha. Yasha means fame. And uh, Sri Bhubana means Sri World. And uh, Gushu means the kind of spray. Gushu. 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 Yes. And Yashika Gushu. But just a word about the redemption. Is not to be understood in the Western sense of paying back for sins. Redeeming the fallen here means bringing the fallen devotee to the realization that the sins are material and that by 
taking on the spiritual identity, the spiritual form, then the sins go away. There's no morality in the spiritual world. There's no sin. Redemption is a material idea. So overcoming redemption means realizing that redemption is material, that fall being fallen is material. I don't know if this is proper, but uh, one story, real story. So Gurudev's ghost brother, Mohan Baba. Mohan Baba, before left his body, one lady disciple got cancer. And uh, she is a realized person. She is asking to Gurudev, Gurudev, my body will finish now, so I want to leave my body. So I want to leave my body on, on Radha Stami days. Please give me permission. Then Gurudev, check. Your all karma finish. Your all sarah finish. <laughs> you can go. So she really left the body on the other side. Then after that, Mohan Baba becomes Samadhi. It is a one week Samadhi. Disciple was completely, you know, shocked. What's happening? You know, my good day. This one disciple told us. Because I did not, in, in, at that time, I'm not there. So, and then, Mohan Baba said. So, he was Samadhi, and he was seeing this lady went back to Godhead. And then, I don't know who say. And then, before I went to going back, asking somebody, who's your guru there? Oh, oh, Baba. Oh, what great, your guru there. So, gratification is coming. So, <coughs> this. If Gurudev, uh, if one person bring her or him to go back to go to hell, especially Goroka, Brindava, and then that glory is uh, kind of, uh, everybody glorify, oh, who is your Gurudev, oh, that's glory, you know, it's great. So then, I don't know, maybe Prabhupada mentioned in Nectar Devotion, maybe. I don't know, maybe another one. I was before, I shocked reading one sentence. Prabhupada said, if I bring, if become, if one, one person to become pure devotee, my mission is successful. <laughs> and I shocked to read this, this, you know, this sentence. Then what do you mean? I don't understand. But after hearing you know, this story, I understood. A someone who realized himself or herself, and then that Gurudev's mission is successful because he came to, to save the conditions of also, I think, also give the mercy to, 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 how do you say, to understand conditions or more.
exclusive to us, so... My experience è che il discepolo dovrebbe andare da Guru. That the disciple should go to the Guru. Si chiedere qual è la cosa migliore per lui. And ask to him what is the best thing for him. In questo tempo che sono stato vicino a Guru, ho visto che. During this month that I was here, close to Guru there. Difficilmente dice la stessa cosa due devoti. Not, uh, not always, uh, actually rarely says the same thing to different devotees. Mm -hmm. No? Yes. Mm -hmm. Che è anche un atto di sottomissione andare dal guru e dirgli... Mm -hmm. Quello che è la cosa per me. So, a me ha detto delle cose che nessuno ha detto. Che ti stanno facendo. Mm. Non vedo, forse l'ha detto però non lo so, però mm. non vedo, non ho sentito, non ho visto che mi ha detto. Uh, so I think it is also a kind of uh, a, a kind of uh, feeling of uh, surrendering to ask the Guru what is the best thing as he, as he said before because uh, I, I could see at least as far I could see uh, as he said before not, not rarely says the same thing to different Tutto everything is very very personal Sorry. The last word is important, personal. <coughs> Bhagavan, Bhagavan means Krishna, means personality. And what this means is that God has an individual relation with every single jiva. And this is what makes love possible. It's unique and individual for each of us. So to, if Guru is playing this role as well, then it's also the way of, of giving love as an individual to each jiva, each disciple, this to each people. I think also this age, my feeling in this age, in this time, very bargain series now, bargain sale, you know, like a Christmas time, shop will sell very cheaper, you know, like a 20% 20, 20 discount, no 30% discount, no 50% discount. I think, you know, this time Mahaprabhu and the other Acharyas, especially Mahasis, uh, <laughs> also some discounts. Yeah, discounts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Kali Yuga. Yeah. Discount. Kali Yuga at this Mahaprabhu time. So by this you mean it's easier? Mm. More easier. Mm -hmm. There's less resistance. Yes. Yeah. yeah, also, in the Kali Yuga, is the, the souls are the most fallen, right? So, as we talked about yesterday, right, the fallen person, they are in that lowest position where the nectar can flow down to them, you see, and their hearts become very soft, they're very, in a very desperate position, your heart opens because that's your only option. <laughs> the only option is to receive the loving mercy. So in this Kali Yuga, because we're all so fallen, then 
we become very, very open to the mercy coming, you see. In the other yugas, I think there's a lot of righteousness, it can very pure, so that it, maybe at that time it wasn't so available, you know? So that's another symptom of this age, is being very fallen, very low, and therefore becoming more eligible to receive more, more, more open to the, to the loving mercy coming. Especially our Sampradaya. Last time Mahanidhi, Mahanidhi Baba told us, he told, you know, your Sampradaya is perfect because we are Nichananda Sampradaya. Your sam ni Nichananda Janamada, your Sampradaya is perfect. Your philosophy, your Siddhanta is perfect. Your Guru is perfect. So just to, just to, you know, you, you do it, <laughs> you make it, <laughs> because, you know, everything perfect, our sampradaya, our philosophy, our siddhanta, our, our goal is perfect, situation also favorable, and Guru Dev is perfect. So just to, you know, decide, we, we, we go this lifetime. <laughs> to go back to go to enter Nikunja yeah. And I just wanted to again deal with this question. All of us have this question, you know, can I actually you know, achieve perfection in this, in this lifetime? This this question, the fact that we're asking this question, I feel that it's a symptom of false ego. Right? The false ego is the one making me, 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 right? Personally, right? I want I, I, I. So as long as that I and that me, so that's to me, that's a symptom of false ego. I want to attain this. I want to reach it. I want to endeavor. I want to, it's my goal. I want to go for it, you know? So this striving, this endeavoring, to me, it's a symptom of false ego. Once we, to the Guru's mercy, it's all these things we're reading, all these bad vices, falling away, the anarchists, everything falling away, and we purify, then this question doesn't arise. This question doesn't arise. Then we are really solidly, we were describing some of this thing, this nishta, right last night, right? So this is, should be our, our endeavor, is to get rid of this false ego through the grace of the Guru, and then naturally, Naturally, these higher stages of bhav and this higher realization entering into this, you know, this nitya svarup, which we are all here for, that will naturally come and then we don't have to think anymore about, you know, where I'm going, we're already there. You know, we're already well, well, well traveled on the path. And we don't have to even consider that question anymore. Actually, Real, real Radha Dasi, or real servant of the Lord, does not care where we are. We care, we can serve the Swamini or not. That is, we care. So, like, uh, last time Gurudev said, <laughs> Nara Maharaj was saying, nobody tells this, this secret. I'm telling this Manjari Baba. Many people say, you go hell. I don't care. <laughs> so we care. We can serve Swamini or not. We can serve Gurudev or not. That is a pure devotee's concerning, actually. So because pure devotee does not care, you know, personal happiness. Right. So we care, Guru Dev's happiness, or Swami's happiness, we care, like Manjari care. That is, I think, real, real servant, <laughs> male servant. There's one more kind of care. <clears throat> There's one more kind of care. When I hear this, the conditions are perfect, so just go for it. I become a bit sad. 
because I know personally, and I know you all know, that we need to help each other, that we need to comfort each other, that it's very difficult when there are ups and downs. And so I don't think the, this freedom to per become perfect takes away the need for caring for each other in association, devotee to devotee. So I, I see as my job in our family to comfort and to care and, and to accompany, to go with. This is related to my Svarup as well. I think this is really important. Wow, very beautiful, very beautiful. You know, this compassion that we're talking about for the fellow conditioned souls, this is this is also coming from Guru. You know? And he is most compassionate. So once we attach ourselves to his own esteem, then he is actually his compassion is flowing through us. And this way it's flowing to each other very nicely. And it's kind of a reciprocal you know, relationship that we have with everyone, that we're, we're compassionate and we're receiving and giving this compassion is flowing freely. Through the, through, only through the mercy of the Guru. Because he is the source of that compassion. So without connecting strongly to him, then we put the, he says we create dams, you know? The dam is preventing the water from flowing. Yeah, like this story in, 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 in the Bhagavatam, I think Durva Maharaj story. So Durva Maharaj was ready to go back to Godhead. And Vishnu Dutta came. And then Durva Maharaj was thinking, what about my mother? So he cared about mother. Then Vishnu Dutta could understand in his heart. And Vishnu Dutta told Guru Maharaj, don't worry. Your mother is already in Vaikuntha. So don't worry. So that means, so Uddhava Ji tell very nice things. Because Krishna's nature, Varada's nature, fulfill our heart desire. So if we have very nice relationships among the Vattu brothers, for example, if myself Uddhavaj is very intimate, actually intimate, so Uddhavaj was thinking about me, I also think about Uddhavaj. Then Uddhavaj is now, he had a chance to go back to Godhead. Then Uddhavaj is thinking, Hey, my friend Jayananda, what about my Jayananda? <laughs> then, don't worry, he's also with you. <laughs> that is possible. That is also Gurudev, if Gurudev desire. Gurudev say, oh, my Sudevi should go to with me. My Bandana should go with me. If Gurudev think like this, if Gurudev please, with us, then we can go. So therefore, pleasing Gurudev is, or pleasing Vaishnava is our primary, primary duty. That's how I feel. Therefore, they say Guru, Guru Seva and also Vaishnava Seva is so, so stressed in the scriptures. Yes, take comfort. We will all meet again in Goloka. We sure. Everyone here. Yes.
were sharing a story about the one lady that yeah. she had realizations. I felt already um, just to be part of a group of devotees when something like this is possible by, as you said, we support each other, we flow together in the stream just to be a particle in this. I feel already, wow, I can be in the stream. Like for example, today, Sudebi and uh, I don't know, Gora Priya or Sachabhadataji and Madarasaji, they are going to Radakun or oh, sorry, Gobarga. So they say, hey Bandanaji, would you like to come? Yes, then we can go by same time. Okay. Yeah. Would, you, would you like to come with us? Yes, then we can go together. Like, you know, like this kind of. If we have good relations, try to eat, you know, each other, help each other, that is possible. That's my opinion. The Buddhists, the Buddhists go and retreat, and everybody retreats into their little kutir, <coughs> and they sit isolated in their meditation for sometimes one week, two weeks, three weeks, sometimes one month, one year, completely alone, no association. You see. And having this mala practice, sometimes no speaking, no interaction, nothing. So just contrast that, <laughs> you know, with with what our saga, what our group is doing, constantly interacting, singing together, arti together, sitting by the fire together, celebrating the Christmas together. So we're so intertwined. <coughs> And we're intertwined with the fabric of Radha's love. And we all feel it flowing through our veins. And this is the sweetest, the sweetest feeling, the sweetest thing for the Vaishnava, for the devotee. Without this, we have no life. We have no hope. We have no reason for existing. And it's really a special thing that we sometimes don't appreciate it until we leave. <laughs> and we sometimes find ourselves isolated back in our homes. So we're thinking, my goodness, why did I leave? I want to go back, I want to go back. We feel an intense desire burning in our hearts to have this association. And sometimes yeah. they bring, just bring tears going through our eyes and then we realize what this is new of separation that you come to my brother soon. Excuse me, we interrupt the we are quite just Okay. But the long time. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice trip. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I have to just go for one minute. I'll be right back. Yeah. Give some money. Yeah, yeah, I saw you there.
It was just about uh, the importance of relationship to the spiritual master to come to the divine. <coughs> right. I, I remember Bhakti Kamantita Maharaj one time, he said that in the spiritual life, it's not about who I know, but it's about who knows me, who can take me with him to the a spiritual world is not that I know so many people, but it's important that some Vaishnava, very advanced, he's remembering me because he has affection for me, or I do good service to him that he will remember me. Yeah, very nice. But the Kamal Sittamar Shanta Hiroshima. Beautiful. Actually, this is natural feeling. <coughs> you know, I feel, you know. Mm. If someone with love and someone loves, so he want to, be, you know, take. Yeah. Please come. Come. You know, very natural. And then this natural <coughs> feeling, he advise. But we not accept because of our faults, you know. mm. And who intelligent, they accept this <coughs> small advice can change the life. Small advice. Mm. Yesterday you mentioned you know, Rava Matura. Like uh, that day I see you, Ekadasi, Prashad, the Gurudev said, come and eat only this. Mm -hmm. Yes. And without <coughs> doubting to him, I do that. Mm -hmm. And other, my God brother, what? Gurudev, today is Ekadasi, yeah, yeah, right. Others, something, something. Nobody took, and who oh. took? They got the mass. But only you, Guru Deva, that time? No. Mohan Baba also took it in there. Wow. He is totally surrendered. No doubting. Then nature, sanskara become changed. Na? Why do doubt? When we go to the Sastra Foundation, then we doubt. When we surrender to Guru Dev, then we don't doubt. Mm. It depends. What is the priority for me? Mm. Too much knowledge is a Depends. Mm. Person to person. Mahatma. <laughs> From this side. Somebody read. Oh, what is our way to do? Okay. Now, sevens. Anyone have a mic for the another one? Yeah. Oh, it's finished. Okay. Yeah, finished. Okay. You, you can read sevens. <coughs> Adorn your bodies with the food dust of the Vaishnavas, so you will gain transcendental experience. 
by constantly performing bhajana in the company of the saints, you will be purified and ignorance will be destroyed. Srila Vishwana Chakravati's Tika In the Tripadi, Srila Thakura Mahashaya first glorifies the food dust of the Vaishnavas. With one voice, all the scriptures proclaim the extraordinary glories of the food dust of the Vaishnava, through which devotion and experience in bhajana is attained. In Srimad Bhagavata, what is the meaning of food dust? This kind of I never see that some person took the food dust and rub in his body. I never see it. In Radha Kun, other places. But what is this means? I never see in my eighty years of life. I see rolling in the uh, some brajaraj, but I never see food dust he taking and rubbing to the body. I never see that way. Mm. So what is why meaning? What is the meaning of this right line? Mm. Maybe to feel very humble towards. Maybe also <laughs> taking the... I agree with this. Never disrespect to Vaishnava. Mm -hmm. Always humble to the Vaishnava. Always glorify to them. Mm -hmm. From mind also not think bad for anyone. Thinking. And even to the Vaishnava, anyone mm -hmm. who dress like Vaishnava, even to them. Are there, are there different stages of Vaishnava? We cannot judge. <coughs> we, anyone dressed like a, or behaves and soul, or they can be a Vaishnava. Hippocrate can be a Vaishnava. He is not inside Vaishnava, but he dress or he is gentleman, Prabhupada, they all are Vaishnava. We have to be very respectful to them. That is the food dust of There is a spark of love to Radha inside of someone? It depends that how much you become close. Respecting is not a big problem. 
you become very close that is that you can judging to others na you respect for respectful means taking the dust of vaishnu that is the meaning respectful not very relation so you cannot relate to everyone that depend person to person mm-hmm. and in the western world when someone is very deep in love to jesus or god is he a vaishnava too that has to see that has to see what type of i can hear not to one difference it you judging not does taking means always respectful mm-hmm. not judge this give your respect mm. giving your respect not meaning that you start living with them respecting so good if, if i understand right for us is not is not important to know who is a real vaishnava mm. or not is not in our power to understand no but we have to respect everyone if he is very kanti or he wants a krishna or he is a devotee of jesus we have to give respect to everyone yeah. because we cannot charge from outside who is a devotee from inside yeah so everyone to respect right yeah. different more maybe we don't understand also krishna das ka in chaitanya charitamrita so krishna das kaviraj goswami and mentioned all vaishnava of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu not not all very prominent vaishnava of mahaprabhu and nityananda prabhu etc radhana prabhu so at that time he mentioned we should not to think who is higher and who is lower because uh, this is kind of uh, we have tendency to material calculation because spiritual cali- calculation every everybody is soul and uh, great very dear to the lord so therefore kabiraj goswami is, is warning to us don't judge who is higher who is low, lower that is kabiraj goswami saying in chaitanya mm. yeah, this is difference between like <coughs> different uh, adhikaris you know like uttama is ayas you know seeing everyone is so pure so yeah uttama adhikari only he see from soul and above mm. and madhyam adhikari see out of goodness gunas mm kanistasi mm. uh-huh. different mm. gunas they are watching only gunas mm-hmm. madhyama and uttam si only who is really conscious living in the consciousness and how much he is elevated in that mm. practice in sadhana they know see the gunas they are not interested in gunas and gunas are not leaving us they are kaam krodh lo mo mad masya they will never leave us don't try to balance it narottam das type thakur se put in the service kaam krodh also use it 
your angerness you use who is not devoted he is not responsibility in the service to him inspired by growth that he can be fixed himself kaam krodh lob 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 also mm-hmm. be more lobi greedy for krishna bhai moha also is the charan mo we have to last, go last thing yeah mo means last so all can use in service that way it will be balance and if i start is stopping this it nobody can stop it and the whole life we will use for this is stopping gunas is never stop <laughs> mm. use in right place in right person for the one go point mm. it's also written in print of the chapter that is was right here yeah but it's also mentioned that one thing you cannot give to the lord of this six it's the uh, jealousy matsari jealousy enviousness envy envy is only one thing you uh, you cannot uh, transcend that like this is mentioned or oh, you have a um, different experience good we have to understand nicely and be is in a blockage mm. no harmony with the mind false ego and my consciousness mm. that we cannot leave out from the emptiness we have always clash inside and outside so this inner so this inner this harmony is coming to the out as a envy um. So I am not in harmony inside. So envy start happening. My false ego don't want to be conscious. This is very careful. Sadhvi, your chair is is too is waiting for you. <laughs> Mahatma feet before. to come out to check the false ego or the false ego playing game to us false means false we start living in the false is a false ego our false ego clutches wrong i accept right consciousness increase false ego go out mm-hmm. and consciousness decrease false ego catches mm-hmm. uh, yes we cannot it means we cannot fight the envy but we have to focus on the positive on the consciousness and then envy will automatic is a side effect Go. Realize. Realize. No place. Mm. No place for that. No place for that. And when the consciousness low, 
<laughs> we will come. Because false ego creates ambition. I feel if I disturb any living identity like Vaishnava, then my consciousness goes down. And for the friend, you have to watch full. Consciousness is not now, and after five minutes it goes. We have to keep consciousness all the time. If we are conscious now, and after one hour I become unconscious, the moment I am unconscious, I am, we will come to me. We give chance to false ego. That has to be careful. Fighting come with the envy, outside. Inner envy make you to fight. Watch. And this is the circumstances. The moment you give the chance to false ego, it will grow. Means there is no conscious. Very nicely explained, Narottamda yes. Sahib. Carefulness is consciousness. Mm. We are careful, we are conscious. We are not careful because we are doer, so we don't want to be careful. That is a false ego that I am a doer. Is also a false ego. Huh? I am a doer. Is a false ego. Always, always say ego. And I heard some days before, Jayananda Ji, he said something about real ego. Um, is there real ego and how can I find out? What it means, false? It's not my identity. And ego means, what is my identity? You will never stay in my ego, myself, in my... Uh, that I am a servant of Radhika. That is the ego. Abhiman. Mm. Radhika Dasi Abhiman. Radha Dasi Hoy Abhiman. <laughs> that Abhiman not coming. False ego is catching. This is Bhakti Vinod Thakur song. 
abhiman of reality not coming. Unreality is coming very far. Because so many life we are in the false ego like this. This time, by chance, by mercy of Mahaprabhu or saintly person, we know something more that my ego should be there, but what ego, not false ego. Really, my existence, my constitutional position. Why are you? is also uh, the Abhiman. In this material yeah. body we have to take the Abhiman, Das yeah. Anudas. Yeah. And spiritual Abhiman is uh, Radhika Das. Always to be conscious with us. Not give chance for one minute to be out of that. If you give five minutes chance, it will eat that five minutes for see what <laughs> so consciousness means we are not unconscious unconscious means I am Maya Dasi I am Maya Dasi Maya Dasi Maya Dasi, Maya Dasi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chaitanya means conscious. Hmm. He gives us identity, Abhima or Brada Dasi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No, be always conscious. Care. Chaitanya follows means to be careful. Hmm. Where you are. Hmm. Conscious. <coughs> Hindi Chaitanya means English consciousness. Mm. So, if possible, I want to make clear the uh, difference of fear and uh, careful. If someone has... Careful means uh, like uh, still I'm in material consciousness. Careful means something fear. Oh, can I do? Can I do? Mm -hmm. I want to make clear this point. Mm -hmm. Maharaj can explain. Do not understand your question. So, what is the difference between fear and consciousness? <coughs> yeah, so like a careful. Carefulness. Careful means like, oh, here is danger or not. We, I automatically fear. So generally speaking, fear comes, I am this body. Material consciousness is fear is coming. And consciousness means my understanding, discriminate, this is spiritual or this is material, this is service of Radha or this is service of Maya, or this is pleasing, pleasing to Gurudev or Radhika or pleasing to my senses. So I think this is a kind of a difference. Very clear. Fear of losing something. 
so fear to die, I may die, I may lose money, position, mm. lose my wife, lose my husband, like this kind of. Mm. Still not to me unclear, sorry. Because yesterday I sang in Arati, no one is there. Um, so yesterday I sang in Arati, no one is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like singing in front of mics. Mm -hmm. I don't have any communication really. Mm -hmm. Really I feel, but uh, I don't like Radha Mohan is waiting. Mm -hmm. And Pujari Ji says, sing, sing, mm -hmm. and I sing. But after that, I felt my voice is too loud, and uh, I disturb harmonize. No, I say you. It was wonderful. Yeah. No, you sing wonderful. Very nice. But I say, some senior come, then you not lead that. This is your false ego that you don't listen me. I say, when Sachi is coming, you not lead that bhajan. You have to follow, learn from uh, to him, to Andaka, how he sing. If he is singing and you will start leading that song, it will not test you. Leading means one has to be in front and second has to be follow that. This is the meaning. I don't know and I start leading, it will be not test you. Leading has to be higher voice and second man has to be lower voice. Immediately we have to change. <coughs> And if you want to grow your voice, then shaking voice is not good. That has to practice to ragni to fix his vibrating voice. When you sing, maybe Japanese style to vibrate the voice, but you show me anyone who vibrate the voice. So that practice you have to do with sargam. Ask to Andaka, to anyone. If you know vibrate voice, you have no much lyric, you have to respect others to lead that. And you learn. You practice and learn. There are many mellows. You have to learn from who is the best singer. If you not give chance to learn, you will never learn. Learning means <coughs> to understand what is my missing point and how to grow it. I, t I say you, because I see this fault, then you have a still in mind is your fault ego. You not listen to me, and you are calculating, you not accept that. This is your false ego. And at that I want to break your false ego that you understand the quality of bhajan. We are holding our false ego that I want to lead everything. These are a false ego. And Guru wants to teach in different direction to break your false ego. Your problem will never go without if you are holding your false ego. This is the problem. So he teach in different way to every person how to come out from the false ego. That's why I feel it's not Honestly, I try to accept that's why I feel fear if I sing Arati. This morning also, when Mike is back and everyone says Kishori sing, but uh, I feel fear. It's my false ego and yes. I don't like You see, I know this, that you will be not singing. So I avoid to say. But for I say for your improvement, you don't understand that. 
అంతే కాజి సీత దిస్ ఈజ్ ద వీ క్రియేట్ అవర్ బ్లాక్ నో బడి కెన్ హెల్ప్ యూ హౌ గురు విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ గురు సే ఫర్ యువర్ ప్రోగ్రెస్ యూ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు గెట్ హెల్ప్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ యూ నో సింగ్ దర్ భజన్ విల్ నాట్ గో దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ బట్ యూ విల్ లర్న్ నాట్ లర్న్ you will always live in the false ego because you don't understand the reality this is the problem tab you will say japanese take time to understand that is different issue but false ego if you hold it that i hurt with this my teaching then nobody will teach you why teach you because you hurt something some advice coming to you i really want to accept you accept then we have to say and you have to rest my practice that yes i asked to someone are forget i know go in uh, argo you have to prove then i i will understand you or come out from the false ego and you will hold i will see understand you are in false ego you don't want to learn something what what is the false ego false ego is a false ego is not reality i know so i hurt you your false ego hmm. Can I sing Arati again? I never say not to sing. I teach you how to sing. Nonsense, two slap I will give you. I teach you how to sing it. Try to understand that. I never said that you not sing. No, irritate me. And I am angry to your false ego. is not a subject for discussion subject to learn i know say to not sing i say to improve yourself listen other and try to learn that uneducated people are singing nicely and you don't want to learn you are educated what type of education you have because of false ego you don't want to learn they are all un- uneducated people not in my education they have you are go because of false ego not good to say to me so guru not say never advise people guru dev and when he advise then i have a pain for that are why to why why teacher is not teaching because i am so much in false ego i not like acceptance of advice any advice i don't like any advice what i do everybody has to appreciate that <laughs> no no problem do that what you like ఎక్కువ 
नहीं नहीं हमको गीला चावल गोलत्थी बर्ता बना कर गोलत्थी या खिचड़ी मेरा पेट ठीक नहीं जो भी बनाना है बना जो खाना चाहिए खाएंगे अरे नौ दस बजे तक बना देना गुरुदेव नो एक्सेप्टेंस हाउ यू विल टेक द फूड डस्ट ऑफ वैष्णव You don't try to understand the food dust of Guru Dev. How mercy will come? Which corner mercy will go? Which poor will accept your mercy? Understand? I block my poor's not to accept anything. He will say to me. Vaishnava will say to me, "I know, open. My vessels are blocked. <laughs> This is the subject we are taught. Vaishnava, here Guru Dev is not, not <laughs> accept." Why a Vaishnava? I will accept. <coughs> This is the blockage. I see. My all God brothers say, "No, I can't see Guru Dev. I have to do my niyam." He say, "Yes, yes, yes." I have also do my niyam. When guru says that niyam is important, a guru words are important. And that open my all pore, same moment to receive his mercy for six month. I have a not body consciousness. You can imagine how mercy I got. I received six months unconditional. I have no any sukriti for that. I receive it. That time I was so hot yogi that I I have a sankalpa. That one lakh hari naam. One after that, my diksha mantra first. Then one lakh hari naam. Then I eat something. Two, two hari naam. Then I take any water and this. Oh, without water. I don't take it. And that day, Guru Dev know that I no brush. I no go toilet. Mm. And without taking a bath, I don't do anything like wow. this. And I was come night time from Delhi something, and I was sleeping. And morning I went to Dandavat to him mm. because he is resting that time. And 
And when I go this way, he say, come and take prasad with me. I agree. Then my I agree because my pore is open. Kripa is kripa. And others' pores are closed. My brothers. One my brother accepts Mohan Baba. Others nobody. No, no good there. So you see his realization. We know the Baba is going to him and all night staying there. He was so elevated. So. We know the Baba, Mohan Baba. Mohan Baba is very respected. Even Binod Baba goes to Bohan Baba. Wow. Bohan Baba not go to Binod Baba. Wow. Binod Baba is coming to Mohan Baba. Wow. That was the This is the reason prasad taking. Somebody can understand this realization will come. Is kripa when come? What? How comes? How I can calculate? <laughs> to follow the words of Guru Dev, how much he will come? How to do? This blockage will not pour its close. Some time our pores are open, we receive it. And then realization starts coming automatically. Then I start realizing. Automatic realization will come. What is the scripture? It will be beautiful. Mm. Clear understanding will come. Mm. Claim the extraordinary glories of the foot dust of the Vaishnava, through which devotion, devotion and experience in bhajan is attained. Srimad Bhagavat Bhagavata, the essence of all the Vedanta, Brahmarishi Jadabharata said to Maharaja Rahagana, Rahugana. O oh, King Rahugan, without being sprinkled by the foot dust of the saints, penances, performance of Vedic duties, donations of food, and so, charitable building of houses, studying the Vedas, or worship of water, fire, or the sun, will not help to attain the truth about God. You see? <laughs> you see? This, uh, the carrier of the palankini, mm -hmm. he is teaching to the king. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm carrying the head, putting the bumps in the <laughs> So he is teaching and he is surprised King, how realized this man is. <laughs> False ego make him king, but no realization. I know the career of the Palanjini, he has a big realization. What he said, very nice teaching. <coughs> Similar, Srila Prahlad Mahasaya told his father, Hirani Kashipu, as long as one is not showered by the foot dust of the saints, that are totally free from material identification. You see? Mm -hmm. Material. This is a fourth thing. Never go, never goes. It's very painful. Mm -hmm. Somebody so false ego is a very painful. Because of the pain, Guru avoid to show them what is the problem inside me. You see, I saw how heavy she is. Poor night skin, she cannot sleep. to improve, but all night cannot sleep. And I do, knowing like the whole night she will not sleep, and this is the blockage of her life that she False ego disturbing her. I know this. If she can remove, she will be very good soul. She has all good tendency. I say you, I know, unknowingly I do. I knowingly do. Mm. Because she melt my heart. Mm. Without Gurudev heart melting, mm. he never do the unpleasant. <coughs> Some devotee melt the heart, then he want to improve this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Then he he, he has to do something mm. unpleasant thing. Mm. But now his pore is closed, so he, she will not get it. Happy mercy. This is go out. It's not go in, it go out. Like it is, it, what do you say? Means it react back. Rebound. Huh? Rebound. Rebound. It not enter there. I'm feeling envy because I want also to receive this, what you're giving to her, because my false ego is very big, 
and she's getting so much mercy, why you can't give so much to me? <laughs> this is also, also is teaching for everyone. Mm. Our false ego makes not to know. I can say you the clue of Uddhava, how he realized it. I will not say that past time, but I say to him, you got it. You got it, you got it. And after that his life changed. Wow, amazing. Us. The automatic realization is started coming. I feel it. All century person got it like this. And he really got it. His love matra, sadhu sangha sadhu siddhi. <coughs> is not taken one, ten years, twenty years to practice something. Receive realization in one minute. Mm. You don't know other external practice and this, that, that is wrong. It's different issue. But inner realization is open. And man, many a twenty year practice not open. If you see the reason is a false ego. Poor is not go, accepting to enter there. As long as one is not showered by the foot dust of the saints that are totally free from material identification, no one can become aware of the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. All personal faults. Aware of that? Lotus feet of Mohan, of Sri Krishna. Yeah. Consciousness will not come because cover my unconscious faults, you know. Huh? All personal faults and mischief will automatically dissipate. Dissipate means like disappear. Yeah, like the fog. Sometimes the sun comes and then the fog dissipates. Means the fog disappears. Magic. Read again. Mm. All personal faults and mischief. You see. Mm. Is a mischief. Yeah. False ego is a personal thought and mischief. Yeah. It's so heaviness. Yeah. And we make so heavy friend with him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All personal faults and mischief will automatically dissipate. You see? I don't do anything. Only I eat one. What is it? The rice. Grain. Grain. He gives oh, from his hand to me. He eat and give me. I receive. How much you say this? Handful. 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 
last mercy. I cannot eat after that. That done. That time maybe my pores are open. Is done. My life is changed. Under eighty percent, it changed my life. Give this. I know it. This. This severe that. Mass is there, but uh, we can, we could accept or not. That is uh, our problem. Poor, how much poor is open? Yeah, that, that, that is our problem. Eh? On it not come every moment. Every moment. Never. When some sukriti collecting, and sometime it happens. Without that, sukriti is not happening. So Mohan Baba changed at that time also? He was Baba Ji before also. Oh. He was more elevated than me because he is doing many sadhana. I was in Girastha Ashram. He never married Mohan Baba. I'm By becoming, by becoming fixed, by becoming fixed in these lotus feet, all personal faults and mischief will automatically disappear. <coughs> Why? Because we have to fix in my <coughs> constitutional position. Mm. <coughs> we have to start learning from here to fix. If I want to fix it, it's there. How I will do this? Mm. When I am not fixed with my Guru there, still I am beekeeping. Impossible. Vaishnava, <coughs> dust, how I will accept? When I know I accept Guru there, dust, dust means the words, the, the, the 
teaching. Tolerate, you. tolerate. I have to become like a ash dust to do that. My identification means my fault to you. Mr. Dev will not come. Mr. <coughs> Dev will never appear, and I will not fix one point. Mm -hmm. We need Guru and Vaishnava dust first mm -hmm. to merge in his words and his teaching. That is the dust of the saintly person. Maji is a teaching, huh? Huh? Maji. Maji. Merging. Maji. Maji. Merging. 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 Yeah. It's accepting. Accepting Marge. and totally, totally yeah. follow, no? Yeah. You're not taking. Bus, bus, bus. Yeah? In order to test the mode of goodness in the three deities, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva's Sattva Pariksha, Bhrigu Muni kicked the chest of Lord Narayana, causing Lord Narayana to say, In his Sri Chaitanya Bhagavata, Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur has made a very beautiful poetic translation of these two shlokas. So this is the translation of what Bhrigu Muni, Muni Word. Say, or um, Narayana is saying after being kicked by Bhrigu Muni. Oh, your foot water is sacred water. So sacred that it sanctifies even the holy waters of the places of pilgrimage. All the universes that reside within my body and all the planetary maintainers that are with me have now been purified by this foot water. Yeah. May your glories remain inexhaustible. Oh, I am eagerly holding the dust that displays your footmarks on my chest. I have given it a place on my chest along with the goddess of fortune so that the Vedas call me by the name Srivatsa Lanchana. Mani Guru is fine to move the mind. My heart is not soft, you make my heart soft. Brother, who is the person who can hit Narayan with the feet? Yeah, who is he is testing. Who is that? He's a Brigu Mani. Brigu Rishi. To check the how much tolerance he is. <laughs> Why he's a Vishnu? Somebody says he's very tolerant. Then he says, you are useless. <laughs> Some story I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, so then, heart with his feet, he says, 
विष्णु शिव a nice uh, prayer. Uh, this prayer, prayer is uh, glorifying Narottama Das. This is written by Anatta Das Babaji, right? This prayer. Come on, so what is it? Yeah, it's a little, a little bit long. For whom? You want to wait till tomorrow? Or you want to tomorrow? Well, who's prayer? This is Anathadas Babaji. is giving prayer to Narutama Das Thakur. This is, I don't know, not, uh, might be Vishwanatha. Or might be, no, I don't not? Think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Because normally it would say that. In other words, here it's just, the prayer is starting, there's no reference to Vishwanatha. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. And he's saying, I offer my respectful obeisances to you, to the Dastakura. So in, the, in the spirit of this, uh, what we're reading about is glorifying the Vaishnavas, stepping the foot dust of the Vaishnavas, and now Nandadas Babaji is giving his personal experience, his personal example of accepting the foot dust of the Vaishnava in the in the form of Narottama Das So he's just, you know, bringing this to home, bringing it home for him personally. Is it long or what? Uh, not so long. Uh, I can read mm -hmm. if you like. Yeah. Okay. I offer respectful obeisances to Srila Narottama Das Thakur, a sincere follower of Lord Garanga Deva emitting a shower of nectar of the holy name with its splendor the moon of his mouth <clears throat> destroys the darkness of ignorance blissful by singing Krishna's glories he would become bathed in storms of perspiration in the splendor of his teeth and gentle smile would illuminate all directions. <clears throat> Hearing the redungas and the sound of the holy name, he would dance, moving his enchanting lotus feet and the hairs of his body erect in ecstasy. <clears throat> yeah. His dancing dispelled the Gandharva's pride. His devotional activities filled everyone with wonder. His songs made him famous. He would sometimes faint in ecstasy and fall to the ground, his body decorated with dust. The very fortunate would see him in that way. In place after place, the splendor of his mercy uprooted the people's thirst for anything other than Krishna. His firm faith in devotional service to Krishna is like a necklace of precious stones. His touch is like a sparshamani jewel. His words are like the four Vedas. The devotees always wonder, is he devotional service personified? Is he the essence of renunciation who has descended to the world of human beings in this form? 
I offer respectful obeisances to Srila Narottama Das Thakur. May the dancing of Sri Narottama's lotus feet, which is graceful with the melodious sounds of kartals and ridangas, and which is sweet with the honey of Lord Gauranga, fulfill the spiritual, the spiritual desires of me, his servant.